Yesterday I went to Sephora and I got color matched horribly. So it prompted me to want to make this video for my go-to tried and true makeup products for redheads or for people who have more fair skin. I know it can be hard to color match because a lot of times people want to push pink undertones onto fair skin, but just like other skin tones, fair skin has multiple different types of undertones. We've got warm, cool, neutral, olive. This is the makeup that I'm going to be showing today. All the products that I'm using will be linked. And I'm also gonna start out with like my skin prep as well because that is so important for me, having dry textured skin. So if you are interested in my go-to pale person friendly holy grail makeup products, I'm about to show ya. <laughs> Okay, this is my bare face. I need to wash it first. I have blue nails right now. I'm test driving some different colors for a fantasy ball in Scotland this month. I don't know how I feel about the blue. My dress has a lot of blue on it. Um, I feel like it might be overkill, but it's fine. And I also wanna cover this nail because it's currently going through it. I also have a like a really disgusting injury on this finger. I've been having laser therapy on a wart for over a year now and it makes it look disgusting. But that's okay, princesses have warts too. I'm gonna go wash my face really quick with this. Ooh, I can do like ASMR now. So I'm gonna go wash my face, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm doing skincare in this video too because it's taken me so long to find my absolute holy grails. I like to do all of my skincare on damp skin and my skin's already dried a little bit from washing it so I'm just gonna with this Avene Thermal Water Spray. I'm really not picky with eye creams. I think an eye cream is an eye cream. I use this one from Clarins because they sent it to me. And it's really like slippery. So I'm putting like no pressure on my eyes. I've been liking putting a hydrating serum underneath my moisturizer because I am very dry currently. So this is the Ilia Base Face Milk and I just take a couple drops of it. Doing skincare feels like it works so much better when you have pretty nails. Locking in that moisture, I love this so much. It's fragrance free. It's the Dew Instant Angel. SPF. This is like one of the only chemical sunscreens that I can use that doesn't make my eyes burn. But then this is my current favorite for a tinted mineral sunscreen finger. I have dry textured skin. So skin prep for me is like more important than having a good base product. Let's get to the fun part. Um, okay. Is my hairline doing the opposite of receding? Why? I literally have a hair growing out right here. Like my hairline is right here and this hair is growing right here. I'll sell you my forehead hair for 50 bucks. Also, please disregard my eyebrows. They are currently fully grown out. I have an appointment to get them done right before I leave for Scotland. They're a little wild. All right, I'm an eyes first kind of girl, and this is the only eye primer I have ever used in my life. So many people say like, oh, just use a concealer as an eye primer, it's the same thing. It's not. I always wanted to be a beauty YouTuber when I was younger, but now I don't think I could do it because I don't wanna have that much makeup. I know that's weird coming from someone who has like 200 dresses, <laughs> but the dresses don't expire. <laughs> Hide the mirror, now I know why they always do that. I've been using, I've been using this Hourglass palette, but I've been using the Lunar Bronze Bronzer from this palette. I like to go outer corner and inner corner. Some may say that this doesn't suit my eye shape, I don't care. I'm really sick of people trying to like put themselves into a box where it's like, well, I have downturned eyes so I can only wear this kind of liner, this kind of liner. I'm a cool winter, I can only wear these colors. Why limit yourself? If you like it on yourself, wear it. It's, who's, who's out here going, oh, did you see? Rebecca wore purple the other day. She is definitely a cold, chilly, upside down spring. She cannot do that. Like, what does it even mean? Okay, this is my favorite, 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 favorite eyeshadow. ColourPop Ritz Super Shock Shadow. Some say it's a dupe for Space Cowboy from Urban Decay. I say it's better. It's just so freaking blinding. It's best with the finger too. And then I'll just go back in with the brush that I used for the bronzer. I am a brown eyeliner and mascara girl until the day I die. Because I have hooded lids, I like to do a tiny, 
tiny baby wing that almost just looks like an extra eyelash. This is the ColourPop BFF liquid liner in brown, but NYX also has a brown one. I'm just out of it. And I like that one better because this is a felt tip and that one's a brush tip. I like to have my eye open. Oh, she's so cute and small. I just, that's it, that's it. That's it, stop there, do not go any further. Now we have to try to make the match. Eyeliner can sense your fear, all right? Sisters, not twins. Okay, on to mascara. This is gonna be the first redhead specific products that I'm gonna talk about. Hands down, best redhead mascaras on the market are from How To Be A Redhead. I find with normal brown mascaras, they're too cool toned. Say Beauty has a nice brown mascara that I like, but it is still kind of that cool brown. How To Be A Redhead has three shades and one of them is an actual redhead shade. They actually have four shades. They have a black one too, but I'm gonna just show you the brown one. We have the Perfectly Auburn, Perfectly Chestnut, and Brown with a Splash of Red. Today I'm gonna do the Perfectly Chestnut and then the Perfectly Auburn on the bottom lashes. I probably should have waited to do the bottom lashes. And also make sure you get the mascara up top here. Oh, and also smear it. So here's the mascara versus the unmascara side. Okay, I just had a little snack. Now let's talk falsies. Brown falsies are hard to find. I have never found them in store. Ardell actually makes brown wispies and I think brown demi wispies as well, but you can only get them online. Why? Nice thin clear band. But I recently discovered House of Lashes has a coffee collection. They have like a mixture of black and brown. I think today I'm gonna do the Ardell. This is the House of Lashes glue. That was like a damn near perfect application. Okay, eyes are done, now let's move on to the base. I am a minimalist when it comes to foundation because I hate it. This is my favorite foundation right now. It's the House Labs in the shade 050. And my favorite tinted moisturizer right now, I have issues. It's the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer in 20W. The packaging, who approved this? It's pretty much empty now, but when it wasn't, no matter what I did, it would explode and all this product would come out dripping down the sides, way too much product, this is almost empty. I probably used half of it and the rest was just wasted because it kept exploding out. Mm. I'm not a huge primer person. Most of the time when I put on makeup, I don't have to have it on for very long, but when I do have to have the makeup on, I've been using the Hydro Grip from Milk. Today, I am gonna use the House Labs and I'm gonna mix it whenever I have a foundation that I want it to be more sheer. I mix it with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Wow, I've had this for so long that it doesn't even have words on it anymore. Like equal parts. And then just mix it together. I am a sponge girl. I hate foundation lips. I really want you to see what it actually looks like. I am, oh my God, I hate it on like TikTok and Instagram beauty influencers that are like so clearly using a filter and like making every single foundation that they use look amazing. I can never trust it. So this is what it looks like. No skin smoothing. Kosas Concealer. This is a great option for fair people. I wear the shade 0.5N. They actually just expanded their range of concealers, so. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm not super heavy handed with this. Get some redness right there. And then again with the sponge. Slightly. Yeah, I wish I hadn't put mascara on my lower lashes yet, but. Contour slash bronzer. I have three cream products and one powder. The powder is just the bronzer that I used on my eyes. I typically only use creams on my face, but the first one is mainly, I just use it for contouring. It's the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Amber, anything too cool just comes off gray on me because I am not a cool undertone. This is like the perfect shade and I just stick it like, like right here, a little here. And blending it with a small brush is the key, Morphe M449, because I just really only want it in the hollows. And look at that, you have a nice shadow. It's not orange and it's not gray. Okay, these are two cream bronzers. I think this is a bronzer, soft sculpt, 
Transforming Skin Enhancer by Makeup by Mario. I've obviously shown this one a lot of love. This one is way more luminous. And then this one is the Say Sun Melt in the shade Fair Bronze. Again, it's just a bronzer with the perfect undertone, but this is just for a little bit more. This was I have a lot of cream blushes, but I am going to show you just my favorites. It's really hard to choose. <laughs> okay, we're gonna say three. Great for fair skin tones. Oh, I forgot it's really hard to show arm swatches. This is Rare Beauty Joy. It's a great it's kind of coral blush. Next is Say Beauty in the shade Rosy, and next to that is Rare Beauty in the shade Hope. It's kind of like rosy, but it's a, just a little bit cooler toned. I'm gonna use the Say Beauty Rosy because that one's been my top favorite recently. I'm gonna go in. I like to use my fingers for liquid blush and then blend out the edges. It looks crazy at first. Then I just take my little sponge and just go on top like that. She's gorgeous. I recently picked up the little mini size of the Givenchy powder because I was influenced. It really kind of blurs. You'll be able to see. See how smooth? Nose itches. I wasn't picking my nose. I wasn't. Highlighter. I just go back in with the Charlotte Tilbury right on the top of the cheekbone. I find it's the most natural and it just kind of makes the skin look glowy. Again, blending with the finger. It's just like way more of like a glow than a shimmer. I'm gonna take the same bronzer that I used on my eyes and I'm just gonna go right under. I do brows last. Some people do them first. How to Be a Redhead has the eyelash and eyebrow game under control. They have an eyebrow pencil. You can find redheaded brow products in most brow lines, but they're always too red. The How to Be a Redhead one is a perfect shade, and also the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Caramel, also an amazing shade. It's not too, too red. They came out with one called Strawburn as well for like strawberry blonde, which is amazing and then they also have an auburn that is a little bit more red. Pretend like my brows aren't out of control here. Then the How To Be A Redhead Brow Gel in the shade Universal Red is what I always use. There's a lot of lip products that I like that suit my skin tone, but since I'm doing the more like basic everyday look today, I'm just gonna do my go-to. The NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. Just overlining a little bit up top, maybe more than a little. And then this is like my favorite gloss ever. It's the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Coffee Break. It looks very dark brown, but when it's on and it's sheared out, it's just this perfect brown shade. It's so pretty. And this is the finished makeup. This is my everyday go-to, plus or minus the lashes. I use these products almost every single day if I just need something that I know is gonna look good. I know how hard it is to find redhead specific makeup products, so I hope that this helps somebody with red hair or if you're just a fair person in general. I think it came out really pretty. I would like to know your tinted moisturizer recommendations since the Rare Beauty one, I hate the packaging of it. So let me know what your favorite tinted moisturizers are if you have fair skin and dry skin and textured skin. And let me know if you want to continue this series going more in depth with specific products like, like lips, specific eyeshadows, specific blushes, stuff like that. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.